Get ready for a rundown of our 10 most outrageous stories on this special episode of Planet 100. This is Planet 100. Today we're celebrating Planet 100's 200th episode by featuring the top 10 most outrageous stories to make it onto our show so far. From leggy Hooters girls to gaff-prone BP CEOs, we've cornered the market on eco-outrageousness. As if this whole Gulf oil spill business wasn't dirty enough, news of drilling agency staff behaviour just made things a lot more tawdry. An Interior Department report cites a variety of violations of federal regulations, alleging that staff members at an agency that oversees offshore drilling accepted gifts from petroleum companies and used government computers to view pornography. An inspector for the Minerals Management Service also admits to using crystal methamphetamine. Remember the soup Nazi in the Seinfeld TV show? Well, a sushi chef in Sydney is demanding equally high standards from her customers. Chef Yukako Ichikawa of Wafu demands her patrons eat all their food or pay a fine and not return. Over at Chef Logic, FizzGig submitted a Newslight story about stressed city workers being offered jars of air. The campaign was organized by the National Trust in order to promote outdoor activities. Each jar is said to contain 0.42 grams of fresh air to relieve stress for up to 10 minutes. Not feeding the animals is standard fare at zoos, but what about eating them? Beijing Zoo's restaurant serves webbed toes of hippopotamus and dishes made with crocodiles, scorpions and kangaroo tail. New research from Barnard on Botox is proving a century-old theory that a lack of facial expressions can inhibit emotions. I'm Sarah Backhouse and it's Earth Day, April 22nd, 2020. There's news just in that a giant ice sheet has broken off the Arctic coast, putting New York City on tsunami watch. Months of unseasonably warm weather has seen Manhattan become submerged in water twice in the past 12 months. The Hooters girls have long been renowned for their flesh-coloured pantyhose, which they're now using to save the planet. Hooter restaurants are asking waitresses to donate their used industrial strength pantyhose with the potential to soak up 1 million gallons of oil. KFC's new Double Down Sandwich. It's genius. Instead of messing around with all that bread, they replaced it with two fried chicken breasts. That's right, two chicken breasts, two pieces of bacon, and two yummy slices of cheese. It's like all the farm animals got together and decided to have a holocaust for your mouth. I am of course referring to Paul the Octopus, who retired after a perfect World Cup record. Paul had as many correct picks as he has legs, correctly predicting the result of every Germany game and then picking Spain to beat the Netherlands in the final. In a number one, BP CEO Tony Hayward's gaffes are so numerous and outrageous, they almost deserve a show all unto themselves. But here are the highlights. He called the amount of volume of oil in dispersant tiny compared with the amount of water in the Gulf of Mexico. And he denied that there were any plumes of oil beneath the surface. Those alongside the classic, I just want my life back, and Haywood has sent the gaff soaring to dizzy new heights. And that's our show for today. See you tomorrow for the 201st episode of Planet 100. 